from the App Store. Smart things. Go on and get it. So once you open up the app for the very first time, you're going to see this. Click on Allow. Allow again. And then from here, just going to Next. Again, going to Next. Next up, Start. Sign in. And then from here, just create an account really quick. Once you went throughout the setup process, which is just your email, that information, click on Allow. You're going to see this. Get started. And here we go. Just going to Next. Allow. And we're going to see this. It detected the TV already. So it tells me my TV is 5175. That's my TV, not yours, guys. So make sure you pick the right one. We're gonna add this on. It's gonna tell you to know your location. Go ahead and do that. And then it's gonna connect to your TV. So it is slightly faster to do it this way just because you have to type these things up. It's easier technically than doing it with your remote control where you have to select everything with your remote control. Right now your TV you should see something like so. And right here, this screen. So right now it's gonna tell us our pin so that's our pin, and we just have to put that in here. Once you put in your pin, it's just gonna connect up, and then you just have to set this up right here. So just set it up with whatever Wi-Fi you guys want. We're gonna go ahead and just check on the main one, put in the password for that, and just allow. It's gonna process. On your TV, you should see something like so, but the whole setup's taking place right here. From there, you should see something like so. You do have to press agree. So we're gonna agree to all, then press okay. It's gonna go to the next screen. So what it's doing right now, it's uh, setting up our screen. So it's being registered into our Samsung account. So even, even if you didn't have a Samsung account, right now you created one. If you had a Samsung account, then this would be a little bit faster for you. And location is fine for me. So that's my home, living room, perfect device. I can set this up as a favorite. Doesn't really matter. Right there on my TV, I'm gonna see this. And then just go into next on the bottom, go into next again. And then from here, you're gonna see done. So at this point in time, it's all set up. What we have to do in order for this to work, just press on your TV and then you're gonna see this once it loads up, so your control. So right now you could control your TV. It just has to refresh a little bit, so just let it do its thing. But you could control your TV from your phone at this point or just use the remote control. We're gonna go back to the remote control actually. Now, if there's any problem and it's being delayed a bit too much, don't worry about it. You can set up via remote control. However, it's already set up. So just press on set up via remote and then just go into yes. And right here, it's gonna tell you what's plugged in and what's not. So at this point in time, it's good to plug in your antenna if you have one, any HDMIs, just in case you have your Xbox, PlayStation, or an Apple TV or anything like that. Plug it in now, you can go into next. We're not gonna plug anything in at this point in time. We're just gonna skip that over because for everybody's gonna be different. Right now it's gonna look for a Wi-Fi signal and it will take us throughout this whole thing. However, it's already connected as you guys can see and we can select any other Wi-Fi networks if we wanted to. So we're just gonna want and just press the middle button and it's just gonna go throughout. Again, the setup is pretty much done. You guys did it. The main setup was just hooking this up to your internet anyways um, then we got to just started so we're gonna go on and do the whole thing so from here you should see your name up there plus your email you can just say stay signed in now on your remote every time we're selecting something just press the middle just do a click here and that will take you to the next page and so on it's gonna ask you to set up a pin so go ahead and set one up once you set up your pin just press on ok you can be as easy as you want it can be all zeros all ones I would do something a little bit more difficult, but really it's really up to you. Then you're gonna see this, agree to all. Just tap down, down here below. Click on the middle to select okay. So for your remote control, these are it. So you're gonna be pressing here and here to get throughout this whole thing. And then just be pressing the middle just to select something and do that confirm click. So right now we're gonna do a confirm click here. We're gonna click on register and then it's gonna check for updates. This is very, very important. So we're gonna do that right now and we're gonna download this. Right now, at this point in time, just wait for it. So right now your TV, right after the update will restart it, you might have seen a screen, some of you, others might not, it might take you straight here. But right now you can go on and use your TV. You can select any apps, Netflix or anything like that to watch and just download anything else that you're missing or might be missing as well. And you would do that exactly from the app store. 
So if you go here, you can select this apps and just download anything from here. So you got gaming, for example, and you got a bunch of other things down here below. But anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.